Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Friday, August 18th, 2023. And we're going to do some trucks. We have more than is possible in one video. So we're going to do um, some trucks and uh, of our recent arrival. They're all <laughs> so exciting. So let's get started. First is a Toyota Town Ace. And this is the VIN number. And this is the front of the vehicle. Just got like a pebble chip where a little surface rust came out. No big deal. Very common. But the front of this looks really, really nice. And the Toyota, you can see a little... A little minor um, sheet metal there where somebody pulled up to something. But the Toyota Town Aces I buy are diesel. I like diesel Town Aces. And they are such a great work truck. And the door is beautiful. Oh, is it nice. Guys. This door is completely ding-free. That's grease. And this uh, this is just the rubber piece that goes back up on there like that. So that probably has to be glued or something. So the seat has a tear. Actually, let me do the normal walk around. This side has three, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. So several tiny, tiny, very mild dings. But you can almost look at the side and say the side is straight. I mean, look at it. It is beautiful. Now, you can see under the bed here is immaculate. Absolutely beautiful. Good tires. They're Yokohama's. Unbelievable, just how pretty this is. Now that is locked. I need to cut that lock. Okay, so if there's any gold bars in there, I was I say that, I don't know why, but all right, here we go. The tailgate, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this is a thousand kilogram town ace, meaning CM65. Look at the bed. Look at that bed. Is that not absolutely stunning or what? I mean, just look at the condition of that. Look at that. The whole thing all the way across. Now let's look at the door. This is just a little rub mark. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Absolutely immaculate. Yeah, 66. No, 55. 882. Unbelievable. You know, all it's got is a little tear right there. Um, let's start it. Runs perfectly. Boy, this is so close to being a unicorn. Um, it doesn't have... I mean, I said dings, but really? Look at that bedside. I mean, that's really... For me to say there's dings on it, everybody would say, you're crazy. There are no dings on that. But I see 
very, very slight ding. So I probably have to, and that, that, that noise is this, that can be tightened if you want. Um, or you could put like a, you can loosen these bolts and then move this down and then it makes it tighter or put some little rubber, um, uh, adhesive things behind that. And that will also help a great deal, but that's not super tight. That's really part of the problem. So what a truck, what a truck. It's not a unicorn, guys. I just can't call it a unicorn because it had that tear in the seat. And then also it had that little spot right there. But that's it. This thing is as straight as a pin. Next vehicle. HH4102. 4340. Beautiful on the front, but it does have a slight impression right there. Very mild. The side of this van is completely straight. The entire van. Oh, let me go around it first. Okay, okay. The back, this is a Honda Street, real time, four wheel drive, really pretty. The Street is kind of the upgraded version. Man, oh man, are these nice wheels. And look at those tires. Those are magnificent. And look at the plastic. Man, is this nice. It has a ding right there. This is where the oil goes. And this has a light scratch and, a, and a, it did scratch it right there. That probably, all that will buff out. That might buff out. That will not buff out right there, that little mark. Pretty, pretty. I love these mirrors on the back. Because when you're driving... It, it it really does a good job of showing what's right there behind you. And it allows you to t park. That side is immaculate. You have a tiny scratch right there. The rest of it is stunning. Let's open this door. Wow, look at those seats. And you've got a compartment back here for storage with really nice tie downs, good looking. And this is so, and then those go down. It just has something for the passengers to put their hands on. These do not have seat belts in the back. So you can't, I would not recommend carrying people around on the roadways in that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's got insulation under there. That's pretty nice. Wow. Nice, nice interior. It's got a tachometer. That's because it's a street. It's got... Let me make sure it's in neutral. And the air does work. It's got 64, 487 kilometers. Runs like a top. Beautiful, beautiful Honda van. Next is KS4 right there. Now this does have several touch-up spots. Touch-up, 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 touch-up. They took a Q-tip and dabbed the places where a rock might have, you know, a highway rock or a pebble chipped it. So it's got a few dings on it. But every pebble chip is not a ding. Only here is a ding. 
The rest of those are not dangerous. Just pebble chips. This door has one ding right there. That's it. Beautiful tires. Beautiful tires. Those are pretty darn close to brand new. This bedside panel has a ding there, ding there, 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 and there. The bed is beautiful. Look at this. So, so clean. The entire bed. So what we're looking at here is a a three and a half Subaru, uh, three and a half washer Subaru. Uh, the tailgate has one ding, two dings, three dings that have been touched up. They've got safety reflective tape. Nice looking plastic. This side has one, two dings, three dings, four dings. Four dings on the side. And the door has a very slight crease right there. Scratch, but that very, very gentle crease. Barely discernible on the crease, but you can see the scratch. The back of the cab looks good. Very nice. Let's look inside. The driver's seat is torn. The passenger seat is not. Look at that beautiful floor. Look at that beautiful door. Man, oh man, is that pretty. Oops. Got 66195. I don't think the air works on this. The air does not work, and it's got a little splitting. See what I mean? I didn't even have to show you any of this. Three and a half washer Subaru. I mean, this is a good truck. This is a very good truck. A very good truck. Oh, got a little. Let's look under here to see if we have a rust problem. So you can see here just minor bubbling, a little bit of. Rust issue there. Not bad. Not bad. Next is a U42T. There's the VIN number. The front is absolutely beautiful. And there goes Penelope in her new Buick Regal. All right, Penelope. Nice, nice, not new, but new to her. Um, it's nice when your kids kind of start doing their own thing and branching out. Beautiful, beautiful front. Beautiful, beautiful door. Oh, no, I take it back. It's got some scratches. Ding, ding, scratch. Ding, scratch. Scratch, scratch, ding. So the bottom of that took a little bit of a bump and bruise, but the rest of that up there is just miraculous. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. The tires are nice. Look at these tires. Gosh, that is like the combination uh, that you look for. Those are ice and snow tires. Gosh, are those nice. Look at that. Dunlop Winter Max. They're like new. Look at that. That's incredible. Look at the bed. Look at the bed, people. 
Man, is that beautiful. All you see are some scratches. That's it. But good grief, is that pretty. I know it's full of leaves, so it's kind of hard to tell. But it really is magnificent. The tailgate does not have a single ding at all. Isn't that nice? The bedside panel has a ding right there. And I believe that's it. It's a little hard to tell with the sun hitting the side there. It has one extremely slight. It's got a ding there and a very, very minor, almost not worth mentioning ding there. But it does have one ding for sure. Uh, that I pointed out. I think you could see that the door is immaculate. Oh, I wonder what's over there under that seat cover. But this seat looks gorgeous. I really like these Mitsubishi. Look at that. These Mitsubishi floor mats are the best floor mats of any mini truck. Because look, they hold mud. And you see these in the Mitsubishis. What a beautiful truck so far. Perfect. Ah, I love to see that. So they just put that there for their comfort, for their convenience. This is a five-speed with a two-speed transfer case. Always check to make sure that you're in neutral. This has power steering. Huh. That's another Mitsubishi thing. This has 59,586 kilometers. Boy, does that run nice. Oh, that is so nice. I've got to tell you, this is such a nice truck. Wait a second. Is this a unicorn? Yes. Yes, this is a unicorn. Oh no. No. Oh. Why does this always happen? I get so close. I mean, look at the wheels. They're just they're like a beautiful paint a paint job on the wheels. I mean, those are like brand new. I guarantee you we look under here. Kaboom. Kaboom. Look at this thing. <sighs> Not a unicorn, but so, so close. Oh, so close. All right. HH4. That means four wheel drive Honda Acti. Beautiful. Beautiful front end. Um, this had a magnet on the front, so that's just dirt. The front is absolutely immaculate, not a single ding. The door right here has a single ding right there, one ding. This door here, this sliding door, does not have a single ding. Here's the roof. And the back, section does not have a single ding. What about the door? This is a four wheel drive. The door, this is the hardest time of day to see dings. Look at the plastic, man, that's nice. Beautiful. This door does not have a single shopping cart ding. And this has nice hardware for lashing stuff down in four places, all four corners, so you could do straps, like a cross, and strap something down in the back. Man, is that nice. Now this side, 
The rear section is ding-free. That door is ding-free. And that front door. I'm going to say the whole side is ding-free. The whole side of this van is ding-free. Not a single shopping cart ding. Look at the seats, guys. It's got an armrest, too. That is so nice. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's got a clock in the dash. That's so cool. It's hard to see find a Honda. It's got a tachometer, too. 35, 334. Whoa. Oh, it's got an adjustable steering wheel. A tilt wheel. Third, no AC. No AC. Five speed. Four wheel drive. Tilt wheel. I've never seen that ever. Ever, ever, ever. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful unicorn of a truck. A van. This is a unicorn because it has no, I mean, one ding, I think, right there. That's a unicorn van right there, guys. That is absolutely magnificent. Next vehicle. This is a Town Ace CM65, the 1,000 kilogram version. The front does have a little bit of surface rust right there. This is a four wheel drive. Beautiful. This is a Light Ace. Light Ace. The difference between a Light Ace and a Town Ace is one thing. There's no dings on that. It has automatic locking. <gasps> no. Uh-oh. Now I've been... Wow. Now I've just been schooled. I've never seen a light ace with manual locking hubs. But this is a 1,000 kilograms. Wow. 175 R15. That's a nice tire size. Huh, yeah, there it is, 1,000 kilograms. That's 2,200 pounds. Factory floor. Look at that, factory wooden floor. Man, is that cool. That is something that you see a lot in Japan on the heavier trucks, are the wooden floors. So then, when it's time, which it's definitely not time now, that's a great floor, but when it's time, you pull that up and replace it. There's your fasteners. It is designed to be removable on the floor and the front. That is really cool. But it's nowhere near needing replacement. That is so immaculate. The whole floor is just stunning. The side of the bed has a few dings. One there, one there, one there, and one there very slight oh and one there it has aluminum wheels the door panel is absolutely beautiful it does have a little piece of rust right there I think that's supposed to be there I don't think that's a rust hole We'll check the other side and see. Man, is that beautiful. I think the tailgate is ding free. Yes, it is completely ding free, guys. Not a single ding on that tailgate. And not a single ding on that bedside. Remarkable. Yeah, it was supposed to have that hole. That's a drain hole. Wow, that looks nice. That is so wild. 
That's factory. That's factory. That that's factory. That is so cool. Look at that seat, man. Look at that seat. That's so nice. Aluminum wheels. So the only thing is this tear right there. That's it. That is remarkable. Wow. 78, 567 kilometers. That is so low because a town ace and a light ace, that is a 350,000 mile vehicle. This is a four cylinder naturally aspirated Toyota diesel engine. And so is that other one that I videoed earlier. So they are your long, long term trucks. That is factory wood grain. That is the most amazing thing. That is so unbelievable. So cool. So the light ace is nice. So and town ace, synonymous. Light ace and town ace are so nice. You have extra room in the back. Now, this is not a mini truck. Look at that ceiling. This is not a mini truck. This is a little bit bigger than a mini truck. Gosh, is this perfection. Two in a row that are just so unbelievably mint. Unbelievable. So it's a full eight foot bed. You can put so much weight in that bed. Four wheel drive, diesel engine, five speed, four wheel high, four wheel low. Four wheel high, four wheel low, five speed. So you got five low, five high, reverse low, reverse high. Next we have a KS4 Subaru. This has bugs on the front, that's all that is. Got one ding right there. No dings on that door. And no, yeah, one one very minuscule thing right there, but that is it. This has sealer. Somebody put sealer there. Man, a four washer Subaru. One, two, three. Four. Nice. Also, a perfect bedside. Man, not a ding on the whole. The whole the whole side of the truck is ding free. So they did put sealer. I guess they saw. You know on Subaru, sometimes you'll see that separation, even though it's a beautiful, perfect bed. So they may have seen that and just, because I don't see any rust, any rust residue or signs of any past rust at all. You've got three dings on the tailgate. One there, there, and there. This bedside panel is ding free ding free bedside panel look at the back of that cab that is really pretty this door please be ding free Ding free. Man, oh man. Is it just me or is this whole thing? I think I saw one ding. Right there's a ding. And that was a minuscule ding. Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. 
Let's look behind this seat. All right, so we've got a little rust right there. Yep, we do. And we've got a little piece of rust right there. So you've got a little piece of rust there and a little piece of rust right there. Rust through. Rust through. And that is why they put that caulking there. That's the other side. So what happened is this sat at an angle and water sat there and eventually rusted through. How many miles does this have? Wow. 25 191. Unbelievable. That's 16, 17,000 original miles. Unreal, guys. Nice. Does have a seat tear right there. The rest of the interior is immaculate. So this is a super low mileage, super beautiful, ding-free Subaru Sandbar with a seat tear and 16 or 17,000 miles. But it does have that rust through at the back right there. So it's not a unicorn, but it is so close, but it does have those two spots. So thank you for watching our video of these two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven trucks. And so um, two vans. And uh, so Mayberry Mini Trucks would like to ask, please subscribe to our channel. And also hit notification. And then when you, I post a video, you'll be notified. And um, we also service our trucks with full synthetic 5W30 engine oil. We change the air filter, the oil filter. We check all the fluids, the front differential, the rear differential, the transfer case if present, the transmission, the uh, antifreeze in the radiator, the brake fluid, make sure the battery's good. We make sure the charging system works and we make sure the truck runs properly. If it doesn't, we get, we get it dialed in. We make sure the four wheel drive works. If it doesn't, we fix it. We make sure it has the title. We got the law passed in North Carolina, making mini trucks street legal. So you will receive a title. And um, Deanna Ballard is responsible for the legislation in the North Carolina Senate. And Sarah Stevens is responsible for the legislation in the North Carolina House. And it was voted on. We went and testified in Raleigh before the transportation subcommittees, before the members of the House and the Senate. And then they did crossover voting, which passed. And then Governor Cooper signed it into law. So thank you for that. Um, and we also deliver. So if you want the truck delivered, we charge $2 per mile one way. And also, uh, we don't charge anything extra. So you know, if this was seventy five hundred or whatever, seventy six hundred dollars, then that's all you pay. We don't charge any extra fees, no extra taxes, no extra dock fee, title fee, this fee, that fee, none of that. It's seventy six hundred, that's all you pay. Unless you buy air filters, which I do recommend. They're twenty dollars a piece and of paramount importance. So do get some air filters. That's the only extra thing that you might want to pick up. And with no further uh, delays, I will uh, thank you for watching our video and call us if you have any questions. Our number is 336-777-9957. Our email address is sales at mayberryminitrucks.com and our website address is mayberryminitrucks.com. Thank you.